what is going on guys it is for dan here welcome back to another rocket league car design episode and in today's episode i kind of wanted to try something just a little bit differently i don't think i've ever made this type of design and i've never really done these in the past but i want to create themed designs holiday designs and stuff like that so here we obviously have fall because today actually september 22nd is the first day of fall here in the northern hemisphere so i was like you know what let's create a fall themed and then we'll obviously do a winter maybe a spring a summer all that stuff so i've never really done this so let me know what you guys think now in today's episode i do only have three car designs because i'm going to be completely honest with you it was very hard to do some of these designs just to begin with uh, because there's not many fall items when it comes to rocket league so you know I tried my best maybe let me know if you guys like these or not the fall one was definitely the toughest but i know the winter is going to be easy the spring and the summer are going to be relatively pretty easy but yeah make sure to use code sportan11 in the item shop and um yeah if you guys have not hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest rocket league videos so let's get started with the first car design of the episode which is obviously one of the best in this entire video now i'm really shocked they still have not created a leaf wheel. So this is the only wheel that I do have, sadly. But starting off, we do have the orange octane for both sides. Now you can use, this is a universal decal, so you can use this on any car in the entire game besides some of the licensed one. But I like the color orange on this one. You can even do unpainted. Um, I wouldn't really do forest green too much. Maybe for the blue side here, you could do forest green, but I wanted as much orange as possible. Um, because obviously the colors on the blue side can't really create that, you know, orange red color. So for the decal, we have the leaf stream decal, a very popular decal here in the fall themed. Um, I believe this is the only decal uh, that is fall themed. So yeah, for the colors for the primary of the blue side, we do have a forest green with the accent as orange. Again, I would set it to the same with the orange side. We have the orange side as a orange with the accent as a light crimson. Now, the reason why I chose that one is to match the topper and the antenna. But yeah, I mean, this is the best I could do, honestly, for the blue side here. And it still matches very well with the fall themed because, you know, when you really look at it, you know, the trees are green and then the leaves fall to be orange. So, you know, don't look too into it. <laughs> anyway, for this orange side here, it's mainly to match that topper and antenna, which is just absolutely matches this whole thing together. But for the wheels, we have the timber tree or timber tire. Um, very disappointed that there is no leaf wheel. Very shockingly. So it, this is just the best that I could do. It's a tree trunk. You know, the leaves are falling from the tree. Really not much happening on that one. For the boost, again, it comes all together with the autumn boost. Guys, Rocket League, Epic Games, just create an autumn or just create, please, just create a leaf trail or a leaf boost that's all i'm asking that's all i need anyway so for the topper we do have the leaf litter topper obviously matching very good with the um you know the decal and the boost and same for the uh antenna we have the autumn antenna i've actually never used this to be honest with you so i'm really excited to use this today um when the video goes live because i'll probably use it because it's fall now but halloween designs coming up very shortly by the way just want to just want to point that out for the trail, we do have the dust cloud trail. Now, the reason why is because there is no leaf stream or autumn boost or anything like that. So I just kind of created it like, you know, you're, I don't know, like off-roading, I guess you could say. It's pretty cool. Now, for the goal explosion, you actually could use overgrowth painted um, orange. That actually is a really good one if you do have it. This is what it looks like. I thought I might as well showcase it. Um, but I do think the overgrowth painted orange would actually match so nicely with this theme. And if you don't have the painted orange one, that's perfectly fine. You can even just use the unpainted one. Um, I still think it looks very good. But yeah, to top it all off, a painted overgrowth would be sick. Um, but yeah, again, Rocket League, just please create a leaf boost or a leaf wheel. That's all I need. So yeah, this is the orange side again, matching very nicely. Sorry, it's a little glitched here. There we go. Matching very nicely um, with obviously the topper, the antenna, the boost, everything like that. Same for the blue side here. We do have a forest green and the leaves as the orange to get as much as possible. So yeah, that is the first car design of today's episode. Now you can kind of picture this one as a little bit of a stretch. 
but I still think it could be fall themed. You know, we have a wooden tree type style. You know, I know trees are year round, but maybe you see trees more often during the fall. I don't really know. I'm going to go through this one pretty quickly here, but we do have the burnt sienna octane for both sides. Again, you can use this decal that I'm about to show. You can't use it on any car in the game, but if you use the Fennec or something like that, you can use any decal that supports a paint finish on the Fennec. Even the unpainted octane will also work just fine, by the way. For the decal, we have the Edgewise decal. This is a really clean decal, in my opinion. Um, so I really am a big fan of this one. For the colors, for the Pirate of the Blue side, we have a dark forest green with the accent as burnt sienna. And then for the orange side here, we have an orange with the accent as burnt sienna as well. Now, the main reason why I really do enjoy this design to begin with, even though it might not be close to fall themed, um, is because it matches the tree type style. Obviously, we have the trunk wheels again. By the way, for both sides, the paint finishes are the primary and the accent. It is toon wood. So just same. Um, but for the wheels, again, we do have the timber tire wheel. This one obviously matches a lot better than the leaf stream one because this is actually based off of trees and this blue side is definitely the main side because the topper is a tree that's green and blue uh, or green and brown. So honestly, this side looks a lot better and you know, I think the wheels match very nicely with this style. For the boost, we have actually not data stream. Hold on, I meant to put, um, there, nope. All right, hold on, give me one second. <laughs> All right, I meant to put um, autumn again because, well, that's just the closest I can get to like a tree type style. Um, now, again, this is fall theme, so maybe the trees could be losing its leaves, you know, something like that again. Um, and then for the top here, we do have the fallen tree, which actually surprisingly came out of the Christmas event, but it feels like it could be used in this situation here. For the gold explosion, again, you actually can use unpainted overgrowth or just overgrowth in general to really complete the entire set. I know I usually don't show off gold explosions very often, but I feel like overgrowth just was so, it just looked and matched so well with it. And then for the trail here, we do have the dust cloud trail. Again, super clean and just kind of matches i guess off-roading like trees i guess i'm not really too sure to be honest with you but this is the orange side this is obviously very good with matching the wheels we have that burnt sienna on burnt sienna and then for the blue side here we have a forest green and burnt sienna color combination which matches the tree perfectly you can even go a little bit darker if you would like to really match that tree so there you go there's a little bit of a darker one if you like it but yeah, like I said, it's fall themed in my opinion. So getting into the next car design, we do have the the last car design of the episode. And again, this might be a little bit of a stretch, but it is pretty cool when you really think about it in a way. Starting off, we do have the orange octane for both sides, or you can even do the forest green one for the uh, blue side. Here's the blue side here. That could look pretty cool. And then for the orange side here, I definitely would recommend an orange octane. Now for the decal, it is the humble pie decal this is another one of those that is universal besides obviously on some cars like the creative cars like the uh, licensed cars but we do have humble pie for both sides for the color for the primary for the blue side we do have a forest green here with the accent as orange for the wheels now you may not even know these existed because they barely barely been out in the rocket league but for some reason they don't release them again we do have the gnome light wheels painted orange they're very interesting wheels, but the reason why I mainly chose it is if you could see here, the pattern matches very similarly. Now, I know Humble Pie is not exactly matching the gnome white wheels, but it matches the pattern, and I think that's what's pretty cool about it. Um, the gnome white wheels are actually pretty cool. I mean, I feel like these should have been released a little bit more, um, but yeah, I think Humble Pie does look pretty good. This is the blue side. As you can see, this the pie in the middle is supposed to represent the leaves, and then for this side, the orange on orange just, I think, looks pretty good because I can't set it to uh, forest green, but yeah, in the gist of things, you know, fall themed, you could make an apple pie too. I mean, I was actually going to do like a blueberry pie type style, but I thought that wouldn't really look so well, and then for the orange side here, I mean, you could do even like a, you know, crimson pie that doesn't exist i'm not even sure what is this uh cherry pie you could do cherry pie if you want i don't really know i'm just kind of giving off ideas um but i do think this is a pretty cool design for the boost we just have the standard you know just keeping it clean standard for both sides nothing too crazy with it for the trail again hacks for three painted orange for both sides just keeping it nice and clean i know this one might have been a little bit too big of a stretch especially since like the last design kind of matched the fall themed this one could match i think humble pie does 
kind of like you know think of thanksgiving in a way um but the no might wheels was the closest things i could get to really match the humble pie type style um if you want to you could just use bland like basic black wheels or clean wheels or whatever you want as long as it gets the message across that you know this is a thanksgiving or maybe even like a fall themed that's good enough for me but yeah very weird but let me know what you guys think of this obviously the main one is definitely this first design i absolutely love the look of it and this is just absolutely phenomenal rocket league please make a leaf wheel so we could complete the entire set please anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you guys in the next episode